Destiny 2 has been out for several years now, and around 10 months ago, I made a video on if Destiny 2 is worth it. Now, I made this video a while ago, and a lot has changed from the amount of stuff I knew in the game, and how the game has changed over time. From that video, I have also gained almost a thousand hours on this game, and I want to give an updated is it worth it on this game. Before we get into this though, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more Destiny 2 content, as Beyond Light is coming soon, and a lot of content will be made on it. Anyways, getting into this, the first thing I want to point out is that this game is free, in case you did not know. So if you're bored, you can just try it out. But actually getting into the game now, Destiny 2 is what I would consider an FPS looter shooter that requires a lot of grinding. Now, the grinding part of this game is the one thing that honestly probably bothers me the most, as I always feel like I need to be constantly playing the game every single week to stay up to date with everyone else. And if I take a break from the game, then I just can't keep up with everyone and everything else like raids, dungeons, and other stuff. And I just feel like I'm behind and it just takes a lot of time to grind. So if you have an issue with time or you just don't like grinding, this game might not be too great for you. Other from the grinding problem though, this game is really good. There's a good story to it and the only problem with the story in my opinion is that it's kind of hidden as it's mainly in lore books and other pieces in the game and it just doesn't get explained very well to you in the game. And the very few story bits that you get that are spoken are just poorly explained as well. So while yes, they do have a good story to the game that you can dive deep into, the only problem is that the game sucks at telling it. Of course this game is always an evolving online game that has some problems all the time, usually in the form of super OP guns or armor sets and it just takes a while to get fixed as well. And over time I have found that many of these problems mainly plague PvP playlists which brings me to my next point of PvP. In this game, there's PvE and PvP. Overall, there's more content for PvE as it's supposed to be a PvE game in its entirety, but it does have its nice share of PvP. And PvP in this game is, in my opinion, the weakest part of the game. The big thing I should mention is the absurd amount of hackers that plague this game, which I can't thankfully say Bungie is working on constantly, and there seems to be fewer and fewer cheaters every week, but the cheaters that mainly play PvP make that section of the game a living hell. Thankfully though, you're really going to find these cheaters in mainly competitive playlists like Trials and Survival, but I have seen some low lives in casual matches that are cheating. Then of course there's a the simple problem of overpowered guns and exotics in PvP that just make the experience bad, and they either get nerfed sometime in the future or just pushed off to the side. And one last thing, for people looking at PvP and seeing that sweet looking Trials loot, I would say stay away. Trials, in my opinion, is currently the worst mode in the game. I think my main problem with this mode, besides the hackers of course, is that you aren't really encouraged to play the mode and people new to PvP get absolutely just destroyed in that mode which then leads them to not wanting to play it anymore. And overall there's just no reason to play the game as you're most likely going to come across people either grinding passage of wealth for more tokens to spend or people that are just better than you that will destroy you and make any motivation to go flawless gone. Overall though, while there's more I can talk about Trials, I don't want to go too deep into it and in the end, PvP is the weakest aspect of this game and it wouldn't hurt to do a small overhaul on the mode. I always say I want to, I call it the Season of Shacks where they just overhaul Crucible and just make it better, but chances of seeing that is pretty low. Moving on though, PvE is where you're going to find the best aspects of this game, all the way from rage with 6 people that have lots of puzzles and challenges to hidden exotics that require exploration to be discovered. PvE in this game is honestly the strongest part that by far has the most content in it and I'm pretty sure if you go just PvE you could easily put in at least 100 hours into it without getting bored. However, when Beyond Light comes out in about 2 weeks from now, a lot of this content will be going away like early campaign missions, raids, planets, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you want to experience all of this, you have 2 weeks to grind it out and I'm fairly confident you get a good amount of playing time in those 2 weeks if you start right now. Other from this though, with Beyond Light, a lot of new stuff is coming to the game, especially for PvE and if you play Destiny 1, a good amount of Destiny 1 content is coming back which should please you. Other from this though, there's of course all kind of different levels for PvE, from stuff that is just casual fun, to other stuff that will make you want to pull your hair out. So there's a little bit of everything for everyone in this game, which is another positive, and again, I cannot stress this enough, there is a stupid amount of content for people that have never played this game and want to play PvE, which is something I think everyone should think of. 
One thing though is that once you do almost all of the content in the game, you get to the stage where I'm at where you just do the same thing every single week just to get to the max light before the season ends, which this is a combination of me already doing everything and the game being very, very dry over the summer months with little to no content. Now this is barely even scraping the surface of this game as there is everything from what class you want like Hunter, Titan, and Warlock or you have all three. Then there's what subclass you want for each character as you can customize them to your extent. And while not as customizable as Destiny 1, I would still say there is a lot to do with them and there are three main subclasses with each character and you could change things within those subclasses so there's just a lot of customization you could do and with Beyond Light, new ones are coming as well. Other from this, there's also mods for armors and what armor best suits what you're doing as there's PvE mods, PvP mods, PvE armor, PvP armor, there's just all of this other stuff and for people that are just starting off honestly, I would say leave off the mods until you learn a little bit more of the game and you have a little bit more understanding of what's going on since mods can get very confusing if you don't know what you're doing but there is just a lot to go over. Then there's also seals in this game that you can show off with some being easier like the dredgen seal which I actually did a video on how to get it if you're interested. Then there's other seals that you could get that are harder like the crucible unbroken that takes months to get and just a ton of other small things in the game that are fun to explore. So overall, this game, if you have not played it yet, it has a lot of content for you that will keep you occupied for a while, and again, it's free, so if you have the storage and the time, there's no reason why you shouldn't try it. However, one thing with free players is that you are heavily nerfed compared to people paying, so if you want the whole experience, you will have to pay for the expansion or the season pass to get out of that free light player status, which I was in for a while when I just got back into this game, and I could tell in, like visually and physically that they were nerfing people that were playing for free from like how much light you could get, what well, like, kind of armor you get, it's just a lot of stuff you're getting nerfed on for no reason, so free players I would keep an eye on that as you're not really getting the full experience that you can actually get. Other from that, there's a little bit of everything for people in this game, so if you like space, FPS games, and nerdy stuff, then I feel like this game could be for you and the community in this game is actually pretty good with a lot of nice people versus other games. And if you're on PC, there's a Destiny 2 LFG Discord that is amazing and you can literally find anyone to help you from Crucible to Raids. And honestly, if this was a while ago in like July or around there, I would say that you should wait until the new expansion to hop on. But as the new expansion closely approaches us, I would say right now is honestly the best time to jump in as you can grind out the old stuff and actually get to see what happened from 2017 Destiny 2 to 2020. Then in a couple of weeks, you get a whole bunch of new content to play and you can just explore that so it's just gonna be overall fun if you jump in right now as you will be occupied for i could say at least almost 200 hours there's just that much content in the game but in the end i would say yes this game is worth it and hopefully this update review is better than before and before i go make sure you don't leave without leaving a like and subscribing it's free and you can always unsubscribe later but until then see ya Thank you.